I bastard here. A uh, new and improved version of something I well liked back in the day. In between diabetic cameras, that is, if you read it regularly. It's the new and improved Butterfinger! Conspicuously missing the Nestle branding. Because they sold out of the factory business in America first. That's your nutritional hammer. An America spec. And here's your ingredients list. Ouch, a mother. It's first ingredients corn syrup, followed immediately by sugar. Wow. And Americans wonder why they make me look alive and athletic. Yeah. Fitness finishist in LA, the LA Valley, wonder why. Sugar and sugar followed by peanuts, which contains saturated fat. You um, phobics out there. The first three ingredients are crap. Well, two of the first three ingredients are crap, and four. First four ingredients, three of them are crap. The fourth ingredient is almost certainly palm oil. You might as well call palm oil orangutan juice. With full intense purposes, it is. Oops. I used to like this. It was um, putridly sweet. And a sort of um, dehydrated peanut butter sort of comb, I suppose you would call it. Crunchy caramel. It was stickly sweet, as was the peanut butter. Or in a lean chocolate shell. I'm guessing it looks a savvy bill. It's something where I don't break it in half and get in the steering on this. I just eat it. Hmm. Intriguing. Dodgy gum also there. Crunchier than ever, actually. Double still away even in a fridge will do. With some flavour. That's pleasant. I like the plain as mine, I think. And the peanut butter actually tastes like salty peanut butter. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Dog wins despite the first of me being. Oh, the second of me being sugar, third of me being peanut, fourth of me being meringue cream juice. You'd be excused for thinking this would be so fucking sweet. Like the Nestle one was. That you would need an IV drip of black coffee to not slip into a diabetic coma before you finish your first mouthful. Especially if you aren't familiar with how sweet American foods are. If it's your first time, I warn you, pace yourself as the liquor ads rather smarmily remark down under. Seriously, pace yourself because you will be knocked on your ass. You will have a a cocaine like buzz as you have the other white powder. The very first time you have something that is fully sweetened for America because wow, there's literally nothing else in the world quite as hugely sweet as American stuff. Well, that's before we get to the particularly sweet stuff. Probably the sweetest American thing I've ever come across cane sweetened, cane sugar sweetened Dr. Pepper. You take that American sort of sweetness, but give it to Americans. Give them the experience the rest of us have the first time we have an American Mountain Dew or something, or Pepsi, or an old Butterfinger bar. The Nestle Butterfinger bar. Um, wow. Yeah, you, you will literally lose your mind as it will just be blowing out your ears like a bloody flow Sam. If, you, if that is your first American food, be fucking warned. This though, despite expectations, isn't sadistically sweet. It's actually technically a better chocolate bar therefore. It's surprisingly flavours on chocolate, you've got a bit of a crunchy caramel shell over a salty it don't matter who, what's going on. Um, you know, semantically speaking, that is a beautiful, beautiful thing, a piece of magnificence. If you crave, miss, and fetishize that beautifully sweet version when there's a rest of making them, 
this is a savage disappointment. Um, but even though I wanted to absolutely love the Butterfingers, I had to begrudge it because it was so, so stupendously sweet. So, um, this I believe makes it better. I'm the cool thing about these down under. Any suffer second candy shop should have them. If they don't, why? I mean, seriously, why? So, uh, you can theoretically get these very easily down under if you crave them, and I'm gonna say, I might just get one more than a few times a year based on this new improved recipe. I'm out of here.